Hi, I'm Anthony Ha from TechCrunch. I'm here with Sean and Nazar, the co-founders of 214 Technologies. They've built an intelligent doorbell called Chewy. Um, what is an intelligent doorbell? Well, we are about to show you. Let's go take a look. Oh, it's you again. I've been expecting you. Come on back. Hi, I'm sorry I don't recognize you. Please try the front desk. So, Sean, um, tell us a little bit more about where this idea came from. Sure. Anthony, first let me start by saying thank you for having us in today. Um, the idea for this intelligent doorbell came about in March of 2012 when we were in a hotel room in Casablanca, Morocco, talking about um, a software venture that we had just begun. And we were starting to notice a trend in the Internet of Things, Connected Home, and the hardware revolution really come forward. And it was kind of a novelty idea at the time. It was, you know, wouldn't it be funny to know who is at your door when you're sitting on the couch so you wouldn't have to get up to answer the door for a solicitor or an unwanted friend? And we started to think more about, you know, what could happen if you could actually identify that person, not just know someone was at your door. So Nazar and I talked about using facial recognition to then bring that further one step and know specifically who was at your door and then unlock a custom fe a custom group of features, you know, whether it be turning lights on, opening locks. Is this something that so consumers themselves will be able to buy? Yeah, so right now we, uh, we're running a crowdfunding campaign on GetChewy.com. It's pre-selling for $1.99 and we're actually not charging anyone until our ship date in the fall of this year. So it's consumer, you know, it's, that's a consumer facing product at that point and uh, we're really excited to see where it goes. And, and so the idea is you ship them sort of like a kit and they would install it themselves? Correct, so the actual doorbell itself can be wired through your existing doorbell system, um, which means then you know, you'd remove that doorbell, put ours on in a few easy steps, and then it'll actually chime if you want it to when that person comes. So it acts as your doorbell as well as an intelligent doorbell. Okay, got it. Well, Nizar, maybe we can talk a little bit more about the, uh, the product. Um, so I, I guess sort of the the, the, the first big piece of the technology is the actual facial recognition. Yes. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit more about just how, how that works? Yes, uh, so actually we're licensing one of the best uh, uh, facial recognition algorithms in the world and we've uh, built an app around that uh, uh, that includes various methods of augmenting uh, the accuracy to those algorithms and that produced uh, three patents. The device works over Wi-Fi, there's the hardware uh, the web application and the mobile application. The web application enables you to uh, to set up a device. Uh, you can uh, enroll, uh, uh, record voice messages. Uh, uh, you can receive notifications on uh, for on the web application as well as the mobile application. Have you guys set this up in your own homes? Yes, actually, we've been using it in our own home. <laughs> uh, how many people? So there's so you've got a you've got a white list of people who can come in, and and a black list. Of people, how how long are those respective lists? Is one of them longer than the other? Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question, I guess. <laughs> we, can, we can start reading uh, off the names if you want. That would make a lot of people yeah. <laughs> I would probably say they're about the same size. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Yeah. Also with that, you know, that blacklist of people that you have coming in, we've got a feature that you can check people off if you don't want to be disturbed at all when they arrive. So, you know, maybe it's a pesky neighbor, an ex-boyfriend, a girlfriend. Um, it won't even ring your bell to let you know that someone's there. So if you need that final closure, let Chewy do it for you. So can you talk a little bit more about the security concerns specifically around sort of, you know, letting the right people in? Uh, yes. Uh, our technology has been uh, actively tested in a commercial and a residential environment. How accurate is the uh, facial recognition and the security? It's uh, extremely accurate. We've tested it on uh, two sets of identical twins. It worked perfectly. Uh, we've tested it in various. And when you say it worked perfectly, you mean that they, they, you could tell the two of them apart? Exactly. The device was able to tell two of them apart every single time. Uh, we've tested it in varying degrees of lighting uh, and there are certain lighting environments where I personally would not be able to tell a face and it could still identify someone in those pictures. Uh, we've added second layers of security f if you desire to augment that accuracy rate. So as Nazar was saying, that risk is mitigated because you're not going to let someone else in. What's going to happen is you'll get the notification that they're there and then they won't be granted entry. If you do pair it with something like a Lockatron or a smart lock system, you can actually control that from your phone if you haven't preset that. So 
it's not going to let someone unknown in. It'll right. mark them unknown, and then you can physically let them in with yourself by pressing a button. Okay, got it. So is it possible to like trick the system by wearing like a mask or a disguise or something? We actually use uh, innovative uh, computer vision techniques to prevent against that, that include uh, uh, measuring micro movements on a person's face to do a liveness check as well as uh, detecting depth. We saw sort of a TechCrunch office demo. Can you kind of walk us through what we saw as if it were in, in an actual house? Right, so if that was outside of your house as being used as an intelligent doorbell, what would have happened is when I walked up to press the button, I got played that message that said, hey, Sean, come, in, you know, come into the office, which would be come, in, come inside, really. And you know, if it's a home, you can have that door automatically unlock after recognizing me. And then we saw the light change from green to blue when I came, meaning you know, access is granted, go ahead. Um, in parallel, when using it in your home, that could be you having the hallway lights turn on, your family room lights turn on for, say, your mom or your sister coming over. So it's, you know, it plays in the home automation. Uh, for the office, like you said, it could, let, it could let people in and unlock doors. So, for instance, when Nazar came with that beautiful mustache, um, he was registered in the system as Nazar. In a home, you know, it, doesn't, it didn't identify him. That's why the light turned red and it played that message, you know, sorry, go away. So when it doesn't identify someone, you'll still get that message and see who's there. So you can communicate with them at that point. But because he was trying to trick the system, he didn't get in. So, you know, it's, it's a way for us to prevent people from tricking the system, trying to trick the system and not get in, and then you also seeing who's out there. Right, and just to be clear, when you talk about sort of all these other things you could do, you're not necessarily building that capability. It's like that, that you could connect this system to a connected home and then the, that could use that information in all these different ways. Correct, I mean, you know, you're, you're talking about things that uh, your microwave can be connected to the internet, your TV can be connected to the internet. All those things we can tie this technology into. So, you know, you're talking about a completely automated world at this point where I you know, the device recognizes me as I walk in, it could turn my microwave on, you know, I could have a sweet potato in there or something, it'll start to bake that, and my favorite show will come up on my television. So we're moving in this direction of complete internet of everything and connected home, and uh, Chewy is definitely a big factor in that. Um, so you guys are doing the crowdfunding campaign right now. Um, what's next for you? Right, I'll let Nazar talk about that. Um, so we're taking part in the Boomtown Accelerator in Boulder. Uh, we started this week. Uh, we're graduating on, the, on June 21st, and we hope to ship uh, uh, or deliver the device sometime this fall.